Okay guys, so I've got a banger for you in this video. We are going to watch and review another one of John Real Casimiro's most recent fights. In this fight, Casimiro was challenging the defending champion Philippus Natumbwa for his WBO Global Super Bantamweight title. Prior to this fight, both fighters had experienced a good run of successes and should have felt confident moving into this fight. The fight was scheduled to take place in Casimiro's native country, the Philippines. Okay guys, thoughts and opinions at the end, let's get straight into the action. Last Casimiro versus Philippus Energy, Ngitumbwa, the defending champion. My name is James Velasquez together with Rachel Denaire and Donito Denaire Jr. As Casimiro comes out aggressive to open the first round. Rachel, it is important to set the tone in a championship fight. Yes, it is, and I think that the John Real Casimiro has done that, just that. And Donito, of course, you were slated to face this man, John Real Casimiro. At this weight division, do you think uh, this is a, a place where he can be more comfortable, stronger? He is actually, he looks strong. He looks very strong, and at the same time, he doesn't have to cut the weight that he, he had problems with in the, in the bantamweight. For the defending champion, uh, Philippus Energy Ngitumba. That's a key turn that we have to put out here. Energy, yes, you're the defending champion, but you are fighting on your opponent's home soil. John Real is allowing himself, uh, Philippus uh, Ngitumba, to feel his power early in this fight, and that is a very important aspect for his fighting style. And Ngitumba, undefeated since uh, his professional debut, a uh, unanimous decision loss. But Casimiro looking to make a statement early, goes to the body that time. I think an overhand and the body would be good for Casimiro to land against the Tumboa. The Tumboa with the high guard coming in, but opens up when he punches. Chin is up in the air. John Real can time it. Coming up on a minute remaining in the opening round. Both fighters look at the trade early and often. And we don't see this usually where Casimiro is stepping back. Nitumbwa is here to fight. Well, let's remember that uh, Filippo also does have that ability to switch. Mm -hmm. So let's see if he does change that in the second round. Great point. He slaps with those overhand, but I think it's the accumulation of punches that he does damage people or his fighters, uh, opponents. He's trying to protect himself with that shoulder. Mitumbwa. I think John Riel is looking for a big shot to land against Nitumbua. Oh, Nitumbo trying to unload with that right hand. Staying active with the jab as well. Casimero trying to go to the body, but met with that left hook counter by Nitumbo. That ends a feel it out first round. It is championship time over here at Tokada. back to the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom as we take a look at some of the highlights in the opening round. No need to walk us through what you saw. Well, in the beginning, um, Casimiro was trying to impose his power, but Netumbua came in actually with a lot of great defense to nullify a lot of the power that um, John Rail let out. Philippe is trying to establish that jab, keep John Rail away. And I think John Real uh, Casimiro is looking for good timing to catch Natumboa, knowing that his chin is up there when he does attack. Champion, though. Uh, yes, keeping that distance, but looking to be willing to trade if it came to it. As Casimiro lands one up top. Wild punches now coming from Casimiro. Casimiro trying to land the left also. And Itumbo is coming back every single time that Casimiro throws those big shots. 
Got to watch out, Nonito, for that left hook counter that Nitumbo is throwing every time Casimero's opening up. And I think that Filippos uh, Nitumbo is looking for that overhand from Casimero, and that's why he has a high guard going into this fight to protect himself. But again, when he does go to an offense, it's when he is vulnerable for those big shots. So far, Nitumbo, the one pushing forward. Oh, big shot again by Nitumbwa. And again, this is something that you don't see with Casimiro. Casimiro usually is the one pressing forward in all the fights that we've seen him, majority of it. Casimiro, look at the chop him down, has been going with that left hook to the body on multiple occasions already. And I think that's what they need to do is to break him down to the body to open up the top. As you know, I always love the investment into the body early on. Mm -hmm. And with Pilipos, uh, Nitumba jabbing and pressing forward, because the thing about pressure fighters um, like Casemiro, who likes to throw wide shots, mm -hmm. is to smother those punches. And he's doing the right thing by pressing forward with the high guard to smother the big shot from Casemiro. Under a minute remaining in the second round. Nitumbo Nonito has done a great job staying in front of John Real, despite John Real trying to dance away, step away, and that prevents him from creating like awkward angles. That's correct, because he feels that inside he has the advantage because of John, John Real's way of punching, which is a wide shot coming from uh, John Real, which again, you can smother to lessen the impact. Itomba looking to fire away after hearing the 10 second warning. Casimero again to the body. Let's see if that pays off towards the later rounds. Back in a moment. Just a reminder once again no showing Back inside the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom. And this is for the WBO Junior Featherweight Global Championship. Take a look at the highlights. Rachel, um, some observations you've had in the past two rounds. I feel like uh, Nintuumwa was doing amazing as far as controlling the ring. The thing is, he's trying to set up that chopping right hand. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to me that it's more of a slap. It's very quick, but more of a slap, even as his jab is uh, his, actually, sorry, his left hook is more of a slapping left hook. What I see is coming into this fight, Casemiro is very confident. Yeah. And w whether it's overconfidence or, or just confident that he has, because I know he has a tremendous amount of power. And sometimes when you are confident, you, you tend to look past an opponent, you know. And, and with Nitumba, Nitumba is coming in there with, with great certainty and, and he's pressing forward with great defense and, and smothering. Uh, John Real's Casimiro's uh, punches. John Real bobbing, weaving, looking for an opening again. Ducks under and goes to the body. Ooh. Great shot by Casimiro. Nice shot. There you go. I believe that's what John Real was looking for. And that body shot. Crowd coming to life. Oh, Nitumba answers. That's smart by Casimiro, not getting too trigger happy. Oh, but Nitumba connects. And, and Nitumba is just pressing and pressing, and it can be very tiring when you get fighters like that. And I think it's, it's a similar fashion that, that um, another African fighter that uh, fought John Uriel, which was to press with a heavy high guard. Itumbo again, pressing the action, moving forward. But that uh, combination by Casimero rocked the champion in this round. And the thing about throwing a lot of punches is they tire you out a lot. And I think this is why 
Mitsumbo is just on a high guard, hoping to tire Casemiro down a little bit. But with that high guard, he is exposing himself to those body shots that Casemiro has been using. And I think that Casemiro should be using those body shots to open up the head, like I mentioned earlier. Under 30 seconds remaining in the third round. Bout scheduled for 12. Great body shot by Casemiro, and I think that's what he should focus more a lot. And of course, Natumba should be focusing on the jab and pressing forward like he has. But of course, with, with, with Casemiro's style and punches, it's a dangerous territory. Almost a simultaneous exchange. Another action-packed affair, and we'll be back for more. Overhand coming from Casemiro. Again, uh, round number four, bout scheduled for 12. Good push jab to set up the straight. And I think, like uh, Rachel said, uh, investing in that body shot is going to be a big help for Casemiro. But John Riel. He's uh, ranging him, he's finding that distance so he can throw and unload that, that right ov uh, overhand. Well, look at some... I guess Natumba is having a little <laughs> bit fun with the crowd and more concerned with the crowd than I think fighting. I think Casemiro is doing a really good job by setting up with that jab everything that, that he has power rather than just keep throwing it um, without, without um, setting up. And right now he's throwing that jab, using that jab, stiff arming with the jab and throwing an overhand or setting up the power shots. Good push. Um, I thought I saw it look like he was trying to kiss him in there. <laughs> Might have. We would you have never to see know. that on the replay. You never know. <laughs> Coming up on a minute and a half remaining in round number four. Casemiro looking to take more control in round number four. And I think he's controlling this, this round a bit more with setting up the jab and not allowing Natumboa to press forward. I was actually going to say I would love to see an uppercut right, uh, right between the guard. Right. Oh, got tagged there by that left jab. Already. Jab by Natumboa and a little little straight in there. Well, the champion staying active. Oh, good job by Casemiro as Nitumbo was stepping in. And, and uh, Casemiro is doing a great job. Oh, setting up again with a jab and an overhand to land on Nitumboa. But he's fighting smart at this moment. Oh, nice left hook by Nitumboa. Is that body, body shot. shot. Ntumbo is still trying to do that chopping right. I think this is a really good uh, look for Casemiro setting up the jab and throwing the overhand and the body along with it as well. Let's see if those investment shots uh, make those hands drop. Round number four, we're in the books. We'll be back for more. through again what you saw in that previous round well the body shot was definitely something that he invested on in that round and the jab while while not just throwing big shots but he was actually setting up his big shot behind the jab if you're just joining us again my name is james velasquez i'm third wheeling actually with <laughs> <laughs> Nonito and rachel Donaire. but always a pleasure to see you guys um, obviously, a, a 
Rachel, now that we're towards the middle rounds, are you hoping to see the results of those uh, investment shots that you've seen from Casimero? Yes, I definitely am. And the thing is, is that Natumba, you know, he he is trying to keep him at a distance, but John Real Casimero is doing a good job of circling around the ring, bobbing and weaving. And using those jab yeah, behind to throw those big shots. Again, body shots, investing in those body shots. Casimero, sort of a weight and bait. Again, body, body, you could hear it from a mile away. Those shots you can hear from Rojas Boulevard. <laughs> One thing that Casimero does have is a heavy hand. Another one, this time going up top with the left hook. Nintumbo just trying to throw anything out there. Oh, Hits flush shot. shot. Real Casimero with the right hand. He's been trying to land that. See, this is the same one that he was doing earlier, but you know, the other ones, John Real was able to slip. I think that Casimiro needs to go back into the jab or even just putting the jab out there in front of Nitumbo's face. You got to give it to Nitumbo. He's taking these shots pretty well. Mm -hmm. well I'm just going to point that out, yeah. 100%. You got to give it up to him. Those shots from Casimiro are very devastating, and yet Nitumbo is taking them, especially those body shots and the overhands from Casimiro. Oh, one, two. I heard like that Yatumba. one. Yeah. Well, look at them trying to trade body shots. Yes, and body for body. Up. Body for body. Ooh. But notice, Nonito, that every time Casimero lands to the head, to the body, uh, you see the defending champion answer back with a 1-2 or a 1-2-3. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Overhand. Oh, overhand. Yes. That's exactly what Casimiro has been waiting for. Oh, Casimiro. Oh, saved by the bell in this one. What an explosive end to round number five. Saved by the bell and we'll be able to recover for one minute. Let's see if that affects him in the next round. Round number six is about to start from inside the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom and John Real Casimero. Rachel, what a finish to the previous round. Yes, and you know, it, it's it's sometimes disheartening for a fighter that when you put in all that work in that round and they get away with the... Oh! And oh! John Real he went out. Hits the tumba, tumba is the down tumba on the down. mat. Getting counted, his legs are wobbling. Is he going to come towards the, the, the ref? And the defending champion has been knocked down. Casimero. They're allowing it to go. Casimero Cas going in for the kill. Casimero going for the kill. He's trying to get the distance to be able to hit him. Natumbua was Natumbua's out. Natumbua covering up. Trying to hit him with that. He's, he's trying to save his save right now by holding John Real Casimero. He's wobbly. He's wobbly, Nonito. He's just one punch away. Just one punch away. I think an uppercut will do this one. John Real just needs to get that distance to be able to fire his shot. Oh, look at him. Look at He's him. Reaching. Almost out on his feet. Almost out on his feet. He's reaching in to try to clinch John Real from hitting him. And he tries to get a left hook in. And the barrage of punches that John Real is throwing. The champion just swinging for dear life. His right leg is out. It's barely bending the He knee. is just a punch away. And he has no more power. We still have half of the round left. He has no legs. He's barely keeping himself up. But how can Casimero capitalize, Nonito? Again, just using that jab, push him off with it, and then going through in between those shots or in between those hands. Use feints, get him to, to, to react, and then wherever that opening is, take it. Another big shot. Oh, now somebody's about to go down again. But I think the champ is oh, sort of recovering. Oh, that was a good body shot. 
Does Emero has to capitalize here. A minute remaining. Yeah. Let's go, John Real. His corner is yelling. The defending champion looking to stay on his feet. His legs are locking out, though. His balance is off. He's trying to survive the last 50 seconds of round six. Give it to the defending champion. The toughness to stay on his feet. Good shot. And I think those body shots, he needs to work more on those shots. And then coming in underneath in the middle of Natumba's hands. But Nonito, of course, you, you don't want to punch yourself out. You don't want to gas out. Of course. Nintumbo with a 1-2, trying to keep him away with a jab. 20 seconds left in round six. He's probably going to survive this. Unbelievable. That's a lot of heart coming from Nintumbo after getting hit by a big shot that Casemiro threw. Oh, Casemiro can't be careless. He is saved by the bell. Wow. Give it to the champion. What toughness, what grit, what heart. We'll be back for more. All right, Nanita, walk us through the sequence. I think, I think going into this, Nitumbua was very confident in beginning the round. And then he got hit with that left hook and he went out and he was very hurt. Unfortunately for Cuatro Alasta, he wasn't able to capitalize and finish the job. I was surprised Nitumbua got up. I don't think anyone thought he was going to get up from that. Okay, here we go, round number seven. All right, did he get his legs back underneath him? You know, Philippus in the last round had very wobbly legs. Couldn't establish his balance. Now Nitsumbo is throwing jab, trying to faint that he is okay. Because I know for sure when you get hit, it doesn't recover that fast. <laughs> I was just about to ask you that. Like how, how long or how short is the recovery time when you get hit by a bomb like that? Especially coming from Casemiro with a heavy hand. I was surprised he was able to get up, and I know that will last him till tomorrow or even the whole week. <laughs> oh, but Casemiro, though, getting tagged, can't be careless again. I saw him taking deep breaths, Rachel, in his corner. Well, sometimes you get so over uh, um, excited that you're throwing so much power, and I think that's what he was trying to do because it was only a punch away yeah. from the previous rounds. He put in a lot of work last round. Nice. trying to measure him. And Nitumbo throwing that long range jab, trying to get the distance this time around. Also trying to keep John Real Casimiro away from him. John Real needs to cut, uh, cut the distance again and be able to be on the inside so he would be able to land more of his punches. His distance, not Nitumbo. He still Nintendo don't has. have his legs. If you notice how he's hopping, he still doesn't have his legs. Mm. I actually believe that if John Real moves around the ring more, utilizes the ring more, it will be extremely hard for Ntumba to follow him at yep. this point. His legs do not look right. You're absolutely correct on that. Lateral movement would be the key and shifting away. Did that body shot just hurt him? I mean, there's the last one when he was hurt, he got hit with a good body shot. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's hurt with that body shot. Although that left jab connecting for the defending champion, Nitumbua, now looking to load up that overhand right again. Definitely Nitumbua is here to fight. Oh, clean shot. John Real Casimiro has to be careful in those exchanges. You don't want to be at the tail end of his jab. You know that if you're at the tail end of the jab, you're going to be right there for his second hand. Absolutely. Under 30 seconds remaining, round number seven. Who would have known? he would survive that shot. <laughs> Here we are ending another round, but at any moment, then General can land another shot like that that can totally end the fight. Big swing and a miss there for Casimiro. 10 second warning, round number seven. Casimiro, <laughs> looking <laughs> to push towards the ropes. No Nonito apparently called it. 
Highlights in round number seven. Uh, again, a world championship bout between John Riel Casimero challenging for the uh, WBO Junior Featherweight Global Championship held by Philippus Energy Nitumbwa. We already saw one knockdown in this fight already. A devastating one at that. Now, two rounds after that knockdown, is that enough time, Nonito, for the defending champ to recover? I mean, he's recovering really well because he's trained for this, but at any moment, he can go down and he won't, he won't get up if he gets hit with those shots again. Nice combination by John Real. Nice body shot again. Now, Rachel, you see him setting up those power shots. Exactly. And that's what we needed him to do. You can't just throw it at... at just whenever, without there actually being a target to, to hit. You waste energy like that, you get tired. And that's um, something that you do get excited over, especially if you have power behind it. You just forget to set up at times, especially hurting Anitumo the way he did early on. Granted the toughness though, and the heart of Filipos Nitumba Staying on his feet, surviving, and looking to thrive in round number eight. Janriel looking for setting his big shot again. While well, Natumba now is coming back and being um, confident. Oh, nice, nice shot there. You can see also, Rachel, uh, Casimero is rolling yes. with those punches. Exactly. So every single time that he, uh, that Nitumba throws the right hand, you see Casimero roll with it and then rot uh, rotate out of that situation. So it's harder for Nitumba to follow through if he misses that, uh, the overhand right. Nonito, those details, uh, those are the things that I love about the sport. It's, it's a science, <laughs> you know, and a lot of things, again, going back into it, setting up the punches like General just did. He threw a jab before anything, just, you know, not just throwing those big bolo shots that he's done. Mm. But there is a technique to a lot of things in boxing. Natumboy getting worn for a back of the head. And General going. Nitumbwa. Oh, nice shot by John Riel. Oh, good straight by Nitumbwa. They were both throwing a straight, well, uh, both rights. Straight from Nitumbwa and overhand for John Riel that missed. Ten second warning. Nitumbwa connects with that right hand. Jab, jab, straight. He's actually doing a great job by setting everything up behind his jab. Oh! Oh! oh. Wow, he survives it again. Yet again. How lucky can you get? We'll find out when we come back. Entering the deep waters of this championship bout, <laughs> we were talking off the air. Nonito, Rachel, how lucky can you get? Towards the end, another rocking combination by Casimero. And he was able to have it just right at the end, where now he had one whole minute to recover, and he wasn't. He, 
John Real Casemiro wasn't able to follow up on anything. Oh, John Real Casemiro with the body hook, and that landed the last hook. I, I think Nitomboys is going for broke right now. And at the same time, Dan Riel is trying to go for the same thing to stop mm -hmm. this fight. Nice but, body work. But like you said, those body shots. Casemiro again, just closing the gap here, but cannot be careless. Natumbo slips on the QR code. <laughs> <laughs> Philippus, you have to point your camera, not step on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice combo. Rushing in, leaving himself open, has to be careful in case Casimiro counters. Oh, nice shot. But I guess he was rolling with it still, talking about Casimiro. This guy has a lot of energy. Natumba. Yeah. <laughs> energy Natumba. That's why he's oh, called. Nice body shot body by John Real. That's a beautiful body shot. You can hear it from all the way back here. Yeah. Minute and a half remaining, round number nine. That exact same way that John Real keeps rotating to the left side, like I said. Oh. Nice shot by John Real Casimiro. Tied Good up. Counter. We have half of the round again left. Let's see what happens. John Real catching his breath a little bit. Definitely, he needs to play behind that jab like he has to set up the big shot. You know, again, being so excited about things, it can tire you out. Especially every shot that you throw are power shots. Casimiro trying to bait him with that heavy movement. Body shot again. I believe that'll pay off in a bit. You saw Nintumba take a really big deep breath. Yes. When they broke that clinch, yeah? Yes. The referee breaking up the, 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 the fight right away to keep the action going. Three rounds to go. And again, another <laughs> furious finish. A lot of ruthless aggression in this championship bout between John Real Casimero and the defending champion, Filipus Nitumbua. You know, as you notice in the last round at the end, also, uh, Casimero lands a big shot. It's always towards the end, the need yes. ratio. Exactly. I'd rather, rather want to see him set up shots earlier and, of course, have that happen. We did have that happen when he first knocked him down, though. Oh, no, that overhand almost landed. That would have been the end of the night. The day. We're still in the afternoon. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> the end of the afternoon. <laughs> Double left uppercut by Casimiro. Trying to break through, blitz through that defense. Natumba pressing forward. He's going to want to have John Real Casimiro on his, on his back foot. That's the best bet for Nintumba. Yes, smothering him. If you give up Jan Real that big um, distance for his power, is when he can be very devastating. But if you smother those punches, it can take a lot less, uh, less uh, shots, oh, body shots again. And you keep calling that body shots. It's a beautiful body shot. That's your perfect, uh, that's your favorite uh, punch, though, is the body shot. Mm. Well, and you have to, I mean, the way that Nintumbo is throwing, you know, he's throwing his jab, he's leaving his, his, the left side of his body open. Of course, it's going to be easy for John Real to be able to take advantage of that hole. 
and I'm pretty sure that's something that they focused on uh, during training camp, watching film if they have resources to do so, uh, to research on their opponent's playing style or fighting style. You know, that's interesting that you say that because we were trying to find fight tape on him and it was actually quite difficult. Mm. Yeah, it was very difficult. There to might fight. have been like maybe two that we saw and most of them were highlights, not full fights. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So let's see if uh, that has been something that they've observed or during the course of the fight. With a minute coming up in round number 10. Casemiro is just taking a break in this round. But don't 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 be fooled. One shot can end it all from Casemiro. I feel like every time you say that, that's what happens. <laughs> 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 it's like a foretelling. We can hear uh, Casemiro's corner. That's in the uh, uh, Bisaya saying Sumbag. Punch. <laughs> The champion, though, remaining active, keeping consistently throwing that jab and following up. Yep, keeping that jab out there. He's trying to keep him away, trying to keep him at bay. And like I said, once he throws that jab and he can touch you, he knows that that right hand is going to be able to land. Or we can assume that if John Riel stood there, he would be able to land. But we do know that John Riel has been rolling the correct direction. Yes. Nice body shot to end the round. Last two rounds when we come back. Both are going to have to dig deep at this point. Natumba, of course, had met the, the mat once. Both have to be careful. Natumba has to definitely be careful. Championship rounds. 11 round. Here we go. Oh, Casemiro gets hit as he was trying to rush in. With the left hook, yes. I think Casemiro might just need to put on the little break to just slow down a little bit and then go all out in the last round. Wow. Okay. Um, Natumba is having a little bit too much fun in that ring. Now, Does, will Casemiro treat that as poking the bear? I was going to ask that. Is that. Was that a bad idea? The thing is, like I've always said, whatever things like that happen, if you lose your focus and you go out of emotion and anger more than your game plan, it could work against you. Mm. But there's other people that when they get mad, it starts. it gives them more laser focus. just depends on the individual for sure. The referee falls off. Oh. Were they supposed to start counting the ref? Yeah, had the referee count <laughs> himself. <laughs> so I think that you're right about that, though. Like, for instance, the Muhammad Ali-George Foreman fight, Ali was just pressing mentally into uh, George Foreman, and George Foreman was pissed off going into the ring. And, he, he you know, people thought he was going to do and take uh, Muhammad Ali out, but mm. guess what? He tired himself out. Yeah. Tumba is still trying to keep Jarmiel Casemiro at bay. Pushing and pulling around in the ring. You got to give him credit for staying on his feet after that knockdown earlier. Surprisingly. I'm still surprised by it. John Riel trying to throw bombs. The Tumba is, is answering back with small shots yeah. here and there. He's actually turning and punching for each uh, counter that he does. Natumba is trying to land a shot of his own. John Real does a great job of slipping, rolling underneath those punches, moving around the ring. So then he's not just a sitting target for Natumba. He's going to make him work for it. Natumba tries to give some body shots of his own to John Real Casemiro. John, John Real Casemiro responds back. You know, in 2019, Nonito, I covered uh, uh, John Real's fight in Cebu, and he looks like a better, more disciplined fighter today compared to that time I last saw him. He's, he, he's definitely learned a lot. That QR code is... That is, QR code is... is a slippery thing. <laughs> Can someone... I think they're asking for... 
They're asking for a mop or just a towel? Yeah, they're or? just trying to say, clean this up. Okay, so we're going to judge who cleans it better. <laughs> John Real Casamero's side or Natumbo's side? It's the only problem with those logos that are that big. Yeah. Oh, another furious exchange. Casimero firing away. Trying to end the round or end the fight. Wow. We have one more round left. It is one more round between ultimate boxing glory and defeat. And our two warriors have given us a show. Will that knockdown and accuracy score the win in the championship for John Real Casimero or will the toughness, activity, and heart of Philippus Nitumbua, the defending champion, be enough for him to retain his title? Well, this is it. This is it. They're going to go in there, and it's going to be like the first round for John Real Casimero. John Real Casimero comes out already swinging. Was able to roll under everything that Nintumbo tried to keep him off. He's trying to corner him now. Ranging uh, him with his, his left hand and then firing off with his right. And Casimero it actually looks fresh in this round. Big shot up top, but he counters. Tries to hit John Real with a, a right of his own. Misses, but he got out of the corner. Again, the heart of this champion, Rachel and Nonito. He definitely came into fight, that's for sure. I don't think he was going to come to the Philippines to give his belt away, so I give him complete, um, complete respect and applause for coming to another country, uh, the opponent's country and standing on his feet. If you're gonna take the belt away from me, you're gonna have to fight me for it. But that's the, what he's made it. The adjustment, Rachel and Nonito, after getting hurt, decided to box from a distance because earlier, he was trying to trade with Casimero. That's right. You know, um, with him being in, in tremendous shape, oh, Casimero. Uh -oh. They're, they're just going at it. There's always that puncher's chance. 100%. Yes, and you have to remember that Natumbo has 11 KOs to his 12 wins as well. A warning. Natumbo coming in. 50 seconds left. Can John Real do it? The defending champion still looking spry. Oh, oh. Was in the back of the head. What will the referee say? That has been happening throughout the rounds, though. This is not something that's new. It's more so the fact that it was, oh, they gave him a one-point deduction for back of the head shot. Now will the defending champion go for broke knowing that there was a point deduction? And he has a knockdown against him as well. Yeah. He's upset at the referee. <laughs> 10 seconds in the final round. Rules that a slip. And we go the distance. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBO Junior Fellow Global Champion, Camila Marina Alente Philippines, Jamil Kassim.
So guys, that was an interesting fight full of action and drama. From the beginning, we saw a lot of leather being exchanged between Casimero and Nitumba. Once everything settled, it was noticeable that Nitumba had a good jab that presented him with a few good moments over the course of the fight. Casimero was cautious of Nitumba's jab and any other punches that followed in combinations. Also, we could observe that Casimero was intent on landing hard counter punches to disrupt the momentum that Nitumba's lead hand was giving him. What I saw as problematic for Nitumba was him not being accurate with the placement of his right hand. At times, he misfired due to a lack of accuracy and also a poor judge of distance. On many occasions, he was noticeably falling short on several of his backhands when he tried to follow up after throwing his jab. I did notice a few issues with Nitumba's technique that I believe prevented him from capitalizing and taking control of the fight. Such as what I've just stated, the fragmented connection between his lead hand and his backhand. The pivots on the lead hand hook were painful to watch. If you slow down Casimero's knockdown, you'll see that Nitumba attempted a lead hook pivot while taking the full force of Casimero's left hook. No stability present to withstand the punch at all. This by no means takes away from the performance of Casimero. He fought a rugged fight on the inside, countered well throughout the fight, landing an amazing hook, left hook, to floor Nitumba in the sixth and then nearly floored him again in the eighth with an identical punch in a similar situation as in the six. Now I must say that Casimero needs to tidy up on his defense because a few too many jabs landed for my liking. I did also feel that Casimero got a hometown decision with the rabbit punch due to the fact that he did turn away whilst slipping so he did have a bit of sway with the locals. Now guys, this fight is important to watch because if Casimero is to potentially fight in a way, we have to draw an opinion to escalate the likelihood of this fight from the performance of Casimero in recent fights. I definitely know that, you know, boxing fans from the Philippines want to see it. Some Americans and Europeans also are interested in this fight, but we need to be persuaded from Casimero's abilities and performances. Now, it is true that Casimero may train harder for an opponent like Inoue, and we may be in for a treat when the two of them, sorry, if the two of them match up in a fight. So Inoue may bring out the best in Casimero, but like always, I want to know what you guys think about the potential of a fight between the two of them. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this update. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section if you want to add anything about John Real Casimero and of course a fight involving him with Naoya in a way. So until my next one, peace out.